Hi everybody and welcome to another author interview at In-House Publishing and joining me today is Trish Nash. Hello Trish, how are you? Hello Ocean, I'm doing fantastic today. Today is a very auspicious day because today is the day you hold your book in your hand for the first time. Yay! Fantastic. Let's talk about this. This is Emotional Healing with Essential Oils. How about you tell us a bit about the book? Emotional Healing with Essential Oils, um, it's a journey of self-discovery. Um, so throughout the book, I explore different topics like life scripts, um, emotion, self-sabotage, um, body image, relationships and boundaries. So it's kind of a guide to help you through your emotional healing journey. And then also we use essential oils, so it's a, an amazing companion um, to help us um, really look deeper into how we're feeling. The essential oils support us and give us encouragement. So the two are tied together throughout the book. During these interviews I often go off uh, topic and it's mainly because you say something that, that resonates with me. And I remember the first time that you introduced me to the essential oils. Did you know that ever since, everywhere I go, at least once a week, I hear about doTERRA, I hear about essential oils. What is it about essential oils that have helped change who you are? Uh, they just provide so much support and encouragement. So I can honestly say there's not a day that goes by that I don't use essential oils. In fact, today I've actually used peppermint and a blend called Balance, um, which helps ground you and, and calm anxiety. And the, the spearmint actually helps give you a voice to speak up for yourself. So perfect for this situation. So, I mean, they've just been there on so many different levels, depending on what you know, emotional um, situation I'm working with, you know, when working with sexual, sexual abuse, you know, I've used vetiver, or if I'm feeling down or depressed, maybe a citrus oil. So, I mean, they've just been there the whole way to encourage me and support me, and I honestly can't imagine life without them. And we're digging a bit deep now, so what inspired you to write this book? Um, well, my own emotional healing journey. So I was in um, an abusive marriage, and throughout my life I've dealt with sexual abuse, and you know, fell into that role of being a, a victim and negativity and, you know, just running around in your head, negative thoughts over and over again. And I just hit rock bottom and I decided to, you know, take control of my life. And, and this book mirrors my own, my own journey. So every word of this book, I've lived and breathed every second of it, each stage, each chapter. This is my own journey, raw and exposed of, um, you know, working through my issues of generational issues, sexual abuse, just, you know, everything that, you know, we accumulate over our lifetime and other generations. Um, so with this book, I wanted to share intuitively. Um, I just felt inspired that I needed to share this journey to help other people, you know, because I thought, wow, if I had these skills and this knowledge, my journey would have been so much easier. It would have been, you know, to have this handbook, this guide to be able to say, you know, look at this, dig deeper, and in a real honest way, you know, I no holds barred. You know, this book is to look, to take an honest look at yourself. Okay. You know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. What, what is it with the butterfly? Explain the butterfly to me. Um, well, the butterfly has a very personal meaning for me. Um, so when I separated um, from my ex-husband and in that relationship, um, I got a butterfly tattoo, so to symbolize freedom. So to me, on the, the cover, I've kind of done the stages. So, you know, this is where I was at in the beginning. I was closed, um, full of anger, um, negativity. And then as I went through my journey, I blossomed into this beautiful butterfly. And that's what I would like to share with everyone else through this journey to, to just blossom into a butterfly and heal and, and love themselves. That's incredibly inspirational to hear it put that way. Thank you for sharing that. What about how other people have perceived the book? I mean, I know that you've got feedback during the publishing processes we've been writing and editing and bringing it together. What has been the general feedback from those that have had, had the privilege to read it so far? Mm. Well, it's actually been quite profound. Um, I've brought women to tears just by reading um, a few of the chapters because it really touches on a, a raw, deep level with, with women and with men also. Because we look at, with this book, it's, it's no holds barred. We look at how we're honestly feeling. So it's, it's no pretending, it's not what society thinks. It's, so for example, if you always giving, 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 society thinks, wow, you're such a fantastic person, always giving. But flipping around to the other side of the coin, we, 
we give too much to our own detriment. You know, our tanks get low, we, we are exhausted, we end up giving out of, you know, in a, from a nasty place, you know, we feel um, like we have to give or it's expected, mm -hmm. you know, that this book is giving people permission that, hey, it's okay to step back and take care of yourself first. And that doesn't mean that you're selfish. It doesn't mean, you know, that you're a bad person, but how can we help others from a place of love and compassion if, you know, we don't have anything to give? So, I mean, it's, it's about looking after ourselves first. So, I mean, it really resonates with, you know, especially with women who we give and give and give and, you know what I mean, we just run ourselves ragged. I can understand that and I think this is one of the things I like about creativity is we all have a message to share and, you, you know, you're tapping on some things. I, I've been in this a long time and I haven't heard this kind of approach with a self-help or personal development book before. So, I think it's going to be quite intriguing. What is your vision for it? Uh, my vision. It's huge ocean, huge. <laughs> uh, well, the possibilities are, are limitless, really. I mean, I see this, you know, affecting the world, changing the world. Um, I've already have, you know, affected people in five different countries. You know, I plan to go global. Um, and, and I really want to help people and give people the skills. I know that's kind of cliche. You know, everybody wants to help other people and change the world. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? But in actual fact, those ones that are authentic about it are far and few between. But I do know that this is a true vision for you. You told me this a while ago. Keep going. Yeah, so I mean, it's, I, I want to give people the skills and the strategies to connect. You know, I've been in that dark place of depression and self-hatred and you know, like I was saying intuitively, I felt that I needed to share this to help other people, whether it's through sexual abuse, whether it's through violence, um, low self-esteem. I mean, there's so many different issues that all of us are working through. I mean, really, if you look at any one person, we all have a host of things that we need to work on emotionally. It's whether we choose to live behind this, you know, false mask of pretending who we truly are, or through this book, I give you the encouragement to actually peel that mask off and expose who you, you are. And then you can move forward and you can grow and become the person that you are meant to be, your true self. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. We all have a very unique vision for our books. And sometimes when we embark on this marketing journey, it often doesn't take the shape we want. We kind of have to roll with it in a lot of ways. But you have a couple of things already in the pipeline. Tell me about the things we've got coming up. Um, we'll have a couple day workshops where I'm going to be participating, working with um, disabilities and horses. And then I also have another, um, I'm planning some weekend retreats. So that'll include like a Saturday and Sunday and it'll incorporate um, some of the different chapters in my book and then also give individual time that I can work with people to explore life scripts. Um, so there's lots of different avenues and in the, the future going and doing different events around the world, so maybe even um, full week retreats or personal one-on-ones um, to really help give people that extra, you know, if they are struggling a bit more, need that bit of extra assistance, because um, I'm an aromatherapist um, and I you know, have a degree in psychology, so I can do a bit of counseling and tie in the essential oils and really tailor um, to the person specifically. And then also, you know, just some general public speaking events, um, book signing. So really, the, it's limitless to what I can do. And There's much more than just the book then, yeah. Oh, definitely. And like I said, you know, I'm writing another book. I'm going to be doing, uh, posting some different videos on each of the sections. I've already done one on meditation. Um, so looking at doing beautiful scenic locations because um, we live in such a wonderful, wonderful country, Australia. Um, so doing the um, blogging, so just different things to really connect because I want a forum. I don't just want um, people to buy the book and then they're, they, they might be stuck or they want to share their journey. I want to have a forum to where that, you know, we can connect and share each other's stories and, and be able to, to talk about it and really make a sense of a community, a, a growth a growth community. And I just want to mention, I saw that video that you did on meditation and it was by the river. And is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Phenomenal. You've got to check this out. It's really good. And you've got some more coming up. Yes, some more videos to share. Yes, definitely. The next will be on affirmations and then I'm going to do one on the quality of essential oils because that is 
definitely important the quality of oil that you use. You're, you're like a tree, Trish. There's so many branches to all this. Most definitely, and I'm as stable as a tree. That's fantastic. <laughs> Guys, if you would like to see what this is all about with what Trish is doing with her book, with your aromatherapy, and just with making a difference, go and check out the website. It's scrolling across the bottom of the screen there. Trish, thank you so much for coming and seeing me today. Oh, thank you, Ocean. It's been a fantastic day. Awesome. See you guys. Bye. Peace out.